everybody and welcome to this week's plan with me. In this video I am planning for the week of February the 20th to the 26th and I'm using a kit from Stickers by Merrill and it is called Hot Air Balloon Kit and as you can see it is a really pretty and light um, kit themed around hot air balloons and as you can see I have already dug into the kit and I have already used some of the stickers um, beforehand but I do have enough to work with for an entire week. And I am also pulling in some glitter headers because I don't have the actual headers to work with. And I decided to go with the peachy colour and this really interesting silver slash green colour that's on the bottom row. And I also pulled in some washi tape from my collection because I don't have any washi tape since I did use it. And this is the previous week in my Erin Condren. You can obviously just go back and pause it if you want to take a closer look. But that was that. And now I will move on to the plan with me. First thing I'm doing is putting down the washi strips along the bottom. And I decided to go with the thick um, tan coloured washi. And that is from Kmart, by the way. And the thin pink washi tape is from the Expressit brand. And I just found that at Spotlight, which is a sort of crafting store in Australia. But I just went in with the washi and now I am going in with my sidebar. And also you may have noticed that I was sort of waving my hands around a little bit weird beforehand. And that's because for this week I actually attempted to do a talk through play with me. But it didn't really work out all that well because I ended up with footage over 40 minutes long and I don't really think you all wanted to sit here for 40 minutes. But um, maybe in the future I will attempt this again and just be a little bit more organised about it. But um, back to the plan with me, I am just working on my sidebar. And I actually tried out something different. I don't um have any weekly sidebar stickers so I decided to create my own with the dots and I just put down the days of the week on them and since I had already used some of the headers already that I would normally use I decided to go with the notes header at the bottom for my weekly to-do list or sort of master goals list and I decided to go with important as my header for my working schedule and yeah, so um, as you can see, it is very different, but I really like the way that it came out. And now I am moving on to my checklist. And this is the first time that I think I have used the flag checklist in my planner for a pretty long time. So it was really nice having to change back to this and having that little bit of extra white space since... I do like using the ombre heart checklist, but sometimes it can make your spread look a little bit fuller, especially if you're used to planning with white space. So this change was really nice. And now I am going in with my glitter headers and I decided to go with only two. And I went with the peachy color at the top and I topped the interesting green slash silver color um, on top of the to do section. And you will probably notice as well, I am reverting back to sort of my previous style of planning that I started off in this planner with. Since I have been missing all the white space and also the previous spreads have been really beautiful, but because they're really full on with all the stickers, they are kind of overwhelming for me. And so I just wanted something with a lot more white space than normal. And so I just decided to use this spread sort of like a detox spread, if that makes sense. But um, on to Monday, I am marking down that I wanted to call my doctor for a follow up. And so I wrote that down in my to do section. And originally I wanted to use the um, phone icon that came with the kit, but it was a little bit too big. So I swapped it out for a phone icon from Pop Mix Design. And then after that, I am filling out my to-dos for Monday. And then once I have done that, I am going to be just taking a little pause from the spread and putting in my TV little things from Happy Cloud Inc. And I'm just going to be putting that across all of the days. And I had the perfect amount on that sheet. I had four greens and three of the peachy colors and they matched pretty much spot on. 
And so I wanted to go ahead and put those down straight away because for this week I wanted to watch season two of Jane the Virgin and I didn't want to binge watch it across two days. I sort of wanted to spread it out. And so I decided to go ahead and put them across all the days so I could sort of um, watch a few episodes each day instead of binging them across two days, like I said before. So those are what the little things were for. And now I am going back to Monday. I am marking down that I had a coffee and the coffee cup icon is from Popmix Design. Then underneath that I am taking a full box and I am layering on top of that a half box. And then I am taking a creative sheepie from my store and I am writing down that I worked on a few custom orders that I um, took on a little while ago. So I had to work on that on Monday. And then after that I took another little break since I had forgotten to fill up my sidebar. So I went down and filled out the sort of notes section. And then I'm going to be going back and working on Monday again. Sorry for this first part. I was a little bit scatterbrained when I was planning this. And um, I wasn't really thinking straight. So that's why it's sort of all over the place at the very beginning. And also to mark a no spend that I didn't really stick to for this week. I used a tabby girl from Tamashi Prints. And I just put that down in the corner of the ombre heart checklist. Then after that, in the space that I have left on Monday, I decided to take the credit card sticker from the kit. And next to it, I am putting down write up a savings plan for some lighting equipment and iPad Pro because I do want to eventually buy those two things. And since they are quite large purchases, I just want to make sure that I have a solid plan to refer back to. And eventually, hopefully, I'll be able to buy those two things. And I am very much looking forward to having some lighting equipment because I rely on natural daylight to film these plan with me's and sometimes it can be a little bit unreliable because I do live in Melbourne and if you don't know already Melbourne weather is very unreliable and very unpredictable which is also a reference to what happens a little bit later on in the plan with me but um, I would really like some lighting equipment just to work around that but that's besides the point. Back to the plan with me. Um, I took the heart icon and a flag label, which is actually from a leftover kit, since this kit doesn't have any label stickers besides half boxes. So I pulled in that flag label and I just used that to mark the plan with me that went live for last week. And then underneath it, I took a half box and layered on top of that a pen sticker from Pop Mix Design. And I just wrote down work on customs since I still had those to work on and custom orders can take quite a bit of time for me to get through so um, that's that and then underneath it I took a full box with a arrow slash flag type of sticker from the kit and a laptop icon from lock for stickers and I am using that space to mark that I wanted to draw for new releases and I decided to put that down directly onto the full box and I really like the way that that came out. I wasn't really expecting it to come out so nicely, but I was really impressed and really surprised by the way that it looked. So I was really happy with that outcome. But I wanted to take out some time on Tuesday just to focus on that because if I do eventually want to release some new kits and stuff. So I needed to make sure I had put aside some time to work on those or begin working on those. And now on to Wednesday, I took two strips of washi to cover up majority of that space. And then I took a half box to fill in the gap in the middle. And then I layered on top of that a Today font sticker from the kit. And then the stickers with the two girls that I put down in the bottom right corner is from Nati Planning. And I, put, and I received that from a sampler in an order from her. And I just use that to mark that I spent the majority of the day with a friend of mine. And then after that, I took a half box and I laid on top of it a planner sticker from Pop Mix Design. And I am just using that to mark that I set up my A5 planner that I use specifically for school. And then I took a thin strip of washi with the Netflix script sticker from the kit. And I just used that to mark that I just watched some Netflix on Wednesday evening. 
And now on to Thursday, I took a thicker strip of washi and a sleeping sheepy that I haven't released yet. I'm just testing these stickers out and seeing how I like it before I release them. And I'm just using that to mark that I slept in on Thursday. And then I took a scallop label, which is from a leftover kit. And then I layered on top of that a Happy Mail sticker from Fox and Cactus. And I just wrote down that I received some Happy Mail from Labeled with Love Co. And then underneath it, I had already put down the full box with the appointment label and the half box. But then I realized that it was beginning to look really full and I wanted this spread to have a bit more white space. So I decided to pull all those up and I put down the appointment label above the middle header. And then I had cut the half box, sorry, the full box off camera. And I layered the bit that I had cut in half over the header down. And I laid the half box over that near the bottom, if that all makes sense. And then um, in the appointment label, I put down a little bunny sticker, and that is for a future release that I haven't released yet. And then in the half box, I put a utensil icon from the kit. And I just wrote down family dinner with grandparents because they had invited us over to, for some dinner. And then I am just filling out my to-dos. And then for the bottom section, since I didn't really have anything else that I wanted to put down um, for my to-dos, I decided to take the arrow slash flag type of sticker with the family time sticker and layer that on top of it. And next to it, I put down the TV icon. And now moving on to Friday, I am marking down movie night like I normally do on Fridays with a movie marquee from Love for Stickers and a popcorn sticker from Pop Mix Design. And then after that, I put down coffee and I used a teacup sticker from That Planet Girl. Next to it, I just wrote down coffee. And then I took a full box and layered on top of that a half box with a pencil icon from pop mix design and then I am going to be putting in the half box work on orders because I had a few orders that I needed to get out and also just some general Etsy stuff that I had to get done and I also adjusted the movie marquee and thankfully love for stickers stickers are repositionable so it was a really easy fix and then after that I put down the movie that we watched which was Confessions of a Shopaholic and now I am moving on to the weekend. First thing that I'm marking is that that I got the sniffles and the sticker that I'm using is from that planet girl and the reason why that I ended up getting a little bit sick over the weekend was because of the weather and how unpredictable that it was this week because it was yo-yoing between hot and cold and I ended up getting sick because of that which is kind of frustrating but I decided to mark that down because it really hit me on Saturday and underneath that I took a half box with a ramen eating girl from Tamashi Prince and I'm just using it to mark that I had dinner at a restaurant called Aji Zen Ramen because I was really craving some curry from there and then underneath it I took a label sticker with a bag sticker from a sampler that I, re that I received from Planet Beautiful and I just used that to mark a trip to Kiki K and then in the washi strip underneath that I put down a sleeping sheepy because I basically just slept the rest of the day so I marked that appropriately and then I just filled out a few to do's related to me being sick and now I am moving on to Sunday. I am taking a thin strip of washi and layering on top of that a sleeping sticker from that planet girl and then I am taking a half box with a tissue box sticker from that planet girl again and I'm just writing down that I was feeling much better on Sunday after some soup and a full night and a half a day's of rest and then underneath that I took a label sticker from a leftover kit with a nail polish sheepie that is from my store and I just wrote down me time because I wanted to change up the nail polish that I had and also just relax because I had been sick and then I am just filling out a few to-dos related to YouTube and also a few other general to-dos and also putting those down on the Saturday to-do list because um, I had a few things that I had to get done that I wasn't able to on Saturday. 
And then once I have finished filling out my to-dos and the last little bits and pieces, I'm going to zoom out and show you the entire completed spread as well as the stickers that I have left. I really hope you have enjoyed this plan with me and I really appreciate all of your support. As usual, all of these stores that I have used will be listed down below as well as any coupon codes that I may have for them. As always, have a wonderful day or night and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!